What's your reaction to the trade and, and joining the Wizards? Uh, you know, at first, it's a, it's always a surprise. You're never prepared for it. Um, and it's a roller coaster of emotions, you know. Uh, you have to leave one place and just pack your stuff and be in a new city uh, the next day. Um, so obviously it's been busy since I got traded, uh, a lot of new faces, uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of energy, a lot of good energy, a lot of excitement. Um, and yeah, I'm, 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 uh, anxious to, to be with the team as soon as possible and start shooting as soon as it's uh, official, start shooting on the court and, and, and getting some work in. So, uh, I'm excited to be here in DC. How did you learn about the trade? Uh, Nico, uh, our GM, called me. I was getting out of the hyperbaric chamber. And as soon as I got out, I looked at my phone and I saw this GM calling me. I'm like, oh, shit, <laughs> something's happening. I picked up and he told me, you know, before he came out in the media and stuff, he told me that um, I'm getting traded to uh, Washington. And um, and he yeah, just, you know, thanked me for, for – for, for my time there and, you know, I thanked him and wished him well and, and I completely understand, you know, it's a business and they have to make the right moves for them. Um, and yeah, and I'm excited where I am right now. So, uh, as soon as it was just, just, honestly, it was just excitement that took over in that moment when I, when I got the news. So, and I'm here and I'm, I'm ready to go. Potentially being an opportunity. Definitely, I think it's a great opportunity. You know, uh, you guys started us. We started playing well in the beginning of the season. Um, now it's kind of been a little bit down. Obviously, Bradley is out, um, but I think me coming in, bringing what I bring, um, we can we can finish the second part of the season strong, and and uh, and, and hopefully make some noise. And you know, first first. Uh, goal, I would say, is to make it to at least the play-in tournament and play for a play for a chance to play in the playoffs. You know, um, so I'm excited about that, and 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 I'm excited about um, my next chapter as a as a part of uh, this organization, this team. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Right now, the only focus is get back on the court as soon as possible, healthy, 100, percent and and uh, and finish the season strong you know, consistent and uh, I hopefully make some noise, I said. How is your, how is your knee? Do you understand you had a bone bruise or you mm. still have a bone bruise? Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, just a bone bruise. I kind of played through it a few games in Dallas, but um, but then I, I realized something's not all right. Did an MRI, bone bruise, nothing serious. You just have to sit out some time and let the bone uh, heal. Um, my feeling is that I'm pretty much there where I need to be to start playing. Uh, but I think with these kind of things, you have to be a little bit on the on the safe side to uh, to give it enough time to heal and not not re um, re aggravate it. Um, so I think you know from the first impressions that I've got here from the medical staff, I'm in good hands, and um, and yeah, I'm, I'm 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 looking forward to getting the green light and and getting out there with my guys. So you don't expect to play tonight. Uh, no, no, no. I didn't. I didn't go through. Shoot. It's not even official yet. The, I couldn't even shoot with the guys after the shoot around, you know. So, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited and, and anxious to be out there and, and start learning all the schemes that you know, offensively and defensively, and, um, and, and, and showing what I can do for this for this team. For those, for those of us who haven't watched uh, all of your games this year in Dallas, how would you kind of describe your season so far and where you feel the coaching came from? Um, I would say, I. Uh, uh, a pretty good, decent season. Um, I think the coaching change for me um, was good um, in Dallas, um, and just a lack of continuity. You know, COVID, this thing, little little things happening throughout the season. Um, but I think everybody, you know, saw my progression. You know, and the way I was moving, the way you know, the way I am moving this season. Uh, compared maybe to last season and and also the numbers show that so uh, the only thing is is my three hasn't been falling this season but that's something you know I, I, I keep working and I, my confidence stay stays high um, and you just got to keep shooting them and, and, and let them fly instinctively and that's it and uh, being on this team I think um, at least from the from the feeling that I'm getting around these guys you know they're 
they're kind of the same mindset as I am. You know, Kyle is the same way. He's just out there hooping and having fun and, and always playing with high confidence. And uh, that's what I look forward to bring to this team and also, um, uh, and, uh, and also, you know, uh, just give that, give that to the team. So, um, yeah, solid year, but, but I'm looking forward to make, taking that next step right now for, for, for the Wizards. For people who are not familiar with your time in Dallas, uh, how do you characterize how your tenure there and why do you feel like you met your own expectations? Yeah, no, that, you know, it's, it's tough. It's different. You know, I, um, I went from New York uh, to being out 18 months with the ACL, uh, you know, um, into playing with Luca, one of the best talents in the league, one of the best players, not only talents, one of the best players right already in the league. And, um, and it's an adjustment. And, um, you know, me, me, who I am, I'm, I'm willing to make adjustments to be great as a team. Um, but it just, you know, I think we, we never really achieved what everybody expected us, you know, us to be. And, and it's still, you know, I was only there for, you know, a couple, two, two and a half seasons. Um, and then uh, everybody, you know, this year was, was up and down because COVID, everybody was out with COVID. Me and Luca, maybe we got to play, I don't know, 15 games together or something, you know, um, some injuries here and there. Um, so not what, what everybody expected probably and not, you know, what I expected, but that's how it is sometimes in this league, you know, Luca, Luca is a great player and, um, and, uh, you know, I wish him, I wish him well, and I wish him, you know, to achieve what he, what he sets to achieve for himself. So, uh, Wes Unsell Jr. and Tommy Shepard, so they, what well, I can't wait to see on the court and they expect a two-man game between you and him. Bradley Beal to be very effective. What is the potential there that, uh, in terms of the two of you playing off each other? Yeah, no, I think it's going to be great playing with him because uh, the way he moves without the ball and, and you know, I could already imagine those two-man games with him, handoffs, keepers. He draws so much attention. It's going to open up the game for me and vice versa. Um, so I'm I'm excited about that uh, about that um, about playing alongside him, um, and yeah, uh, looking forward to you know the future. But right now, uh, with what he, what we have, I think we also can uh, can have some fun out there and, and, and win some games. What do you think about uh, some other players on the roster? What stands out as you just kind of like look at the, the team that you're playing? It's a bit too early. I haven't seen that many games really. I haven't you know t today's the first day I've been around the guys and. And see how everybody's shooting and just kind of going through going through the shoot around. So I don't have that much to give you right now, but um, everybody seems to be in in, in high spirits and, and excited. Uh, so am I. So uh, looking forward to making this official and uh, and joining the team, being around the team as much as I can. I remember, uh, like two years ago, you were here, and I asked you about being a fan of the football team here that has yeah. changed their name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are, are you still a fan of them? What you yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, you know, I'm, football is not my passion. Yeah. Uh, so I just kind of, being in Dallas, I just picked a random team because of Daryl Armstrong. Um, he, he's a, you know, Washington team uh, fan. Um, and, you know, now it's perfect. Now I'm here. I can support my team. Uh, so finally, I will have a reason to uh, to go to the actual game and uh, and uh, support them. So, uh, yeah, it's 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 random, but it's it's that's my team. And uh, just what else stands out about Washington D.C. as you, you move here and make it your home? Uh, I've I've had many. Uh, my rookie year, I think I went to a couple of good spots to eat here, so I already know there's a lot of a lot of good places to eat. The city is beautiful. Um, the vibe, I would say, so far is a bit uh, more like New York than Dallas. You know. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna fall in love with the city. Honestly, we'll go to Zoom now. We'll start with Da. Sorry about that, Christoph. Welcome back. Welcome to DC, man. Um, hey, uh, how did you like the role that you had with uh, when when Carlisle was coaching in Dallas the last year, where he really had you outside a lot? Um, and, and really emphasize that part of your game. 
um yeah you know it was it was an adjustment also for me because um the way i was playing in new york it was in and out less threes more in the in the post in the paint um and then i had to make an adjustment playing playing with luca and and, and for coach carla um which i was okay with you know I'll, I'll find a way how i can be effective but um but that definitely affects you know when 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 some parts of my game weren't utilized, you know, I was I was I was not feeling as comfortable as I would like to, um, but but yeah, I, if I, I'm I'm getting older too now, and and I uh, not that I'm old, but I'm getting older and uh, and more mature, and and I'm willing to um, to make adjustments and to play uh, to play the the way you know the coaching staff wants wants to use me, so. Whatever is the most effective for for everybody, that's that's what I'm for. Um, so yeah, uh, so far it's it's been. I've had some good conversations with uh, with Coach Wes. And we're gonna meet right after this, and uh, yeah, and I'm excited about the future and and playing uh, playing for this uh, for this team. So ideally, you would. Is it fair to say you'd like a role where? Your your whole game is utilized. You're you're in the post sometimes. You you do spot up sometimes. DHOs some things that you could be effective with, but you can also be effective in the paint. Correct, correct. I think yeah. The the main thing for me is uh, to take advantage of those mismatches. You know, if they put a guard on me, it's it's ridiculous for seven three to stand out and sh and only shoot threes. You know, um, so uh, but I have to be effective. So. You know, take advantage of that. Double teams come. I kick the ball out to my teammates for open shots, um, and just looking to create and, and take some pressure off of everybody else and, and play basketball the right way. That's what I'm. That's what I'm looking forward to. Um, so, yeah, that's that. That's it, pretty much. Christos. Hey, Christos. First of all, have a great uh, journey in DC. By the way, your first bucket in this as a wizard was pretty impressive last night. <laughs> and, uh, I would like to ask you, without Bradley Bill on the floor, you're going to bring some leadership uh, on both ends. How, how, what type of responsibility for you is this? Um, I don't know about responsibility. If, it's, if it is there, then I like it. I, I, I like that. You know, I, I don't shy away from it. Uh, I'm going to be vocal about the things I see and, 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 and what's wrong and what's right. Um, but, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't focus on that too much. I'm just going to be myself, uh, on the court with my teammates in the locker room and, and, um, and just do the best I can really. That's, that's, that's whenever I do that. And whenever I focus on, on, on little details and, and my daily, daily things, daily habits, um, then the result whatever the result is, I can, I can live with. And, and, um, since I've, since my mindset has been like that, I've, um, my mind has been super calm and, and I've been enjoying this and, and life in general much more. So, um, that's what I'm looking forward to doing. And having a teammate like Kyle Kuzma, whose growth is huge, especially this season, you face him as an opponent, uh, in previous years, how could you, how could you expect your partnership with him on the floor? Yeah, I think it's going to be great because he's very vocal too. You know, he's a vocal guy. He, uh, I could tell he loves the game. Uh, he goes hard. He plays hard. He's about the right things. Um, what what I've seen him so far. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And and uh, and I think communication that's extremely important to build chemistry to to talk to each other. And and I'm going to try to help him as much as I can from my side. And um, and yeah, he's he's super talented. And I'm looking forward to. Uh, to have some fun and, and, and hooping with him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Last question, Neil. Hey, Chris Stops. Welcome to DC, first of all. Thank you. Kyle shared with us that kind of immediately as he saw the trade went down, you know, he found a way to reach out to you, I guess. You know, what did that mean to you as a, a sign, you know, a welcoming sign? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. He, he reached out right away. Um, we talked for a little bit and... and he, you know, we kind of, in a way, in a similar mindset, which is which is pretty cool too. We, uh, we both want to prove that uh, uh, that you know we, we both want to prove some things to 
whoever to ourselves or to somebody and and that's important to have to have that motor to have that drive um and i think we're going to connect right away um on and off the floor so uh that was cool for him to to reach out and and get on the same page right off the bat and i know you know bradley beal is dealing with his own stuff he just had surgery things like that have you gotten a chance to discuss or reach out with him at all not yet not yet um I don't know when was his surgery, but I, I think around this time, right? If I'm if I'm correct, so um, he's probably going to be around, and I'm going to see him and and uh, and have some conversations with him. And then last thing, I guess, are there any other relationships that you have prior with anybody, either on the coaching staff or players on the roster that you have great relationships from before? Yeah, last year, uh, Zach, I was with Zach in Dallas. Uh, Coach Miller, he was in New York when I was there. Um, and then player side, I know a lot of the guys just by playing against them and, and, uh, uh, Rosinho, I played with, against him in Spain also. So, uh, we, we were sp speaking Spanish earlier and, um, and some more people that I know, um, off right off the bat. So, uh, that's pretty cool to come in a, in a place where I'm already, you know, familiar with some faces. Thanks for yourself. Welcome again. Thank, thank you very much. I think we actually have one more in-person question. What do you feel like you, you have to improve? Um, one is staying on the floor consistently. You know, now that I'm healthy and, and I'm moving well, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's the thing I have to prove. And I, I truly believe that, you know, my luck hasn't been the best luck in terms of injuries. And a lot of them have been, if not all of them, have been contact injuries. Um, and those, you know, you can't, you can't really avoid 100%. You know, I, I do my part in, in, in being in a weight room and making sure my body is, is, is right um, to stay healthy. But you have to have a little bit of luck. And I feel like uh, now being here uh, with a good support system around me, um, that's 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 what it's going to be. I'm going to take my game to the next level because my body's going to be healthy, um, and uh, and and that's it. And then just you know taking as I said, taking my game to 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 a new level that I haven't seen yet. Tommy Shepard said that he had met you briefly back in the day mm -hmm. uh, when he was I guess scouting one of your teammates in Serbia. Mm -hmm. uh, do you recall any of that? Not really. Not really. Yeah, it was such a long time ago. I don't remember. You know, I was excited to be back. Uh, D.C. has been, you know, home for me for two years. And I think because of that COVID stricken year, uh, you probably can add another year. So uh, it's excitement. Uh, you know, the fans, the city, the organization, uh, just everybody just always felt like, you know, a, a family in a sense. You know, I see Darren, see all the guys. We joke, we laugh. And it's not just about, like, just everyday stuff is just like, I mean, not just about the game. Or, oh, we got to get a job. No, we just be chopping it up, talking about everything. So it, uh, it is, uh, you know, I was excited to be back. My family was excited. Was uh, there anything about the quick return that's noteworthy? I mean, did you like have your house for sale and you take it off? No, 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 no. No, I, um, it's funny because I just left like September. Like, uh, I'm not, you know, I was working with uh, Alex, our, uh, one of our coaches this summer, you know, when I was moving out, I was lifting at the local uh, 24 hour fitness around the corner from my, my, uh, like lifting there. And uh, then I would go work out with Alex at his gym. So uh, I was, I j literally just left in September. Um, and so it is, you know, I think it's not even been a full six months. Um, so now, nah, but the house is up on, you know, the market. So it's, I mean, not on the market. I, I was just renting. So it's, so whatever the case is, but it, it does feel like I haven't left. So that's a blessing. Everyone knows what you can, you can do, Ace, but what, what do you think your skill set your skill set can do for this different team? Uh yeah. First and foremost, Jay, it's good to see you, man. You know, we was together in Orlando, man. So that's right. that's we made up, we made our way around. Uh made our rounds around so uh back together but uh uh you know just playing your game you, you, for me like when you start working with these guys um you come in and you fit in before you can like now all of a sudden stand out and uh 
obviously just been here a couple of months ago, you know, you know, seven or eight of the guys that were here with you last year. Um, so it is a familiarity, but at the same time, you know, you got to get a feel of what coach West wants to do um, and how, you know, cause I'm coming into a new team. Uh, I'm not coming in like y'all been here. No, you got to fit in first, see what those guys want, how they like the different things and learn those guys first. And then uh, we go from there. I'm sure it was exciting for you to play Close to home. Oh yeah, it's home. Yeah. I mean, it's a bittersweet. I mean, what was that like? Uh, just that experience. Uh, for my family, yeah, I'm sure they was excited about it. Um, I, you know, but for me, like, uh, you know, like I said, DC was, you know, a place I, um, I enjoyed. I loved. I liked it here. Um, so, um, it felt good to be back. Charlotte was great. They got a tons of young talent. Um, coach is great. The coach staff is great. So I enjoyed it. Uh, in my time there, but uh, for the most part, uh, you know, I was happy to be back. Uh, I was and uh, happy um, to be back with a group of guys that, uh, you know, I got, you know, grew with, grew up with during that time, during that tough time and familiar with during those two years. So I'm excited. You mentioned how you, you have to fit it in with uh, sort of a new team, new teammates. Yeah. What stands out as you look at the, the roster now compared to then? Man, you know what? Um, we got a lot of talent. We really do. Uh, we got a lot of talent, a lot of interchangeable in, interchangeable parts. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm excited about it. Excited about working with the guys. Excited about getting out there playing with the guys, and uh, it should be fun. You guys know I always make it fun and interesting. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with my son Phil Jr. Time? Yes. Yeah, it was. Yeah. What, what do you recall about him? About him from that time? Um. So Wes is. You know, I also had him in Golden State. Uh, so we was together in Golden State. But uh, Wes is great, man. Uh, Wes is uh, very detail-oriented. And, and Coach Wes always, um, you know, he allows you to play while still getting uh, what he wants out of you as far as, you know, what the team needs and, and, and aspect of that. And, you know, obviously, uh, he had a great thing going in Denver. And now he's going to, you know, bring that right here to D.C., um, and so I'm excited to learn from him, to play under him. And, um, you know, hopefully I can, you know, be a sponge and, and pick up quickly what he wants. What do you uh, think are, I guess, you and Howell are kind of the point guard rotation. What do you think about that? Obviously, you're familiar with him. Oh, that's my guy. Howell yeah. was my guy. Um, as you guys know, last year we made it to the playoffs. I thought the most, you know, Brad was had an unbelievable year last year. Russ had an unbelievable year, but the most consistent player we had all year was Owl. Owl was every night uh, got us through games where some guys was out, some guys weren't playing well, whatever the case is. Owl was Mr. Consistent every night, and I don't think we make it to the playoffs without him um, throughout that whole year being consistent, playing all 72 games last year. And then even in uh, you know, one playoff game we did win, he played big for us. So uh, I'm excited to be back with him. Obviously, you're known for uh, pushing the pace. Um, what do you think about the opportunity here in that regard? Because, you know, Wes has talked about trying to get more opportunities in transition. And all yeah. The uh, just pushing the tempo. It's obviously, it's being smart, not just going out, you know, taking some crazy shots and uh, taking some quick shots. Sometimes that's warranted, but for the most part, playing with pace, getting the ball up, moving the ball from side to side, and then uh, knowing mismatches. Just the overall kind of point guard perspective of what needs to be done. Christos. Hey, Ish, have a great journey in DC back again. Uh, what makes your connection with the Wizards so good from your perspective? Um, I think y'all kind of like me. And that's always a positive. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, that, uh, that, I, that I don't know. Um, but uh, it's just a familiarity. Um, you know, sometimes you have favor. The Lord gives you favor sometimes through people and uh you know i think it's just favor here and the guys like me in the in the organization but it really does feel like a family i truly believe that and uh you know i don't just throw those words around because i've been on so many different places i've, I've been a uh a, a abandoned child in this league so uh it does feel good to be in a place you know longer than uh, a couple years and also what can we expect from you to bring to the table on both ends of the floor um, just, you know, uh, defensively, you know, pressure, um, you know, obviously, you know, rotations, knowing what, you know, it takes some time to know what coach West wants 
defensively and our coaches to have ones defensively and then offensively, um, you know, pushing the tempo, the pace, knowing what guys like the basketball and, you know, when people kick it out, be ready to knock down and, and, and just be aggressive, uh, stay in attack mode. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Chris. Hey, don't nobody like you. I don't know where you got that from. Um, I should have I should have cut our interview short last um, night. Hey, so you played for 12 teams, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. People trying to make it 13, but y'all brought me back. So you tied for I think the most ever. Do yeah. you know how many jersey numbers you've had on those 12 teams? Thank you very much. Do I do I know how many? Yes. Oh man. Yeah, so first year was freaking hey. Dang, I literally the, the first year I had number dang, what number did I have my first year? Y'all, I'm Brent going, oh, 13. 13 first year. Second year, I was in uh then I got traded to Memphis five. Then I was in Golden State, that was 12. Wow, I did I forgot about that? Then I went to Orlando with Josh and the crew for a year and a half. That was 10. Uh then traded to Milwaukee. That was five, I want to say. No, 15. It's 15. And then Phoenix. That was three. And then I went to back to Houston. That was five. Then I went to who, – hold on, who did I miss? I don't know who I missed, to be honest with you. Uh, who was it? And then – no, I went to – then I went to Philly uh, after Phoenix. Oh, I was in uh, going to uh, OKC. That was number – oh, I don't know. I forget. Oh, eight. Odd number. And then uh, from there, I went to Philly – Things calmed down. I went. I had number five. Then was in New Orleans four. Then back to Philly one. Then fourteen for a long for about four or five years, and then ten, and then back, and then number freaking four. Somebody took number fourteen. So it is what it is. <laughs> as old as you are, I'm proud of you that you can recall all those numbers. Uh, hey, listen, back to DC ish. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not C now. <laughs> Neil. Hey Ish. First of all, welcome back. Um appreciate that was you. pretty impressive. I thought OKC was gonna trip you up there. Yeah, um, no, that was a short stint. I'm curious for you, and you know, I'm sure you're gonna have still continue to have more detailed conversations with Wes. And you know, it's a very different somewhat roster construction than when you were here two years ago. But two years ago, you were kind of in a similar position where you know they wanted to help have you helped develop, you know, some of the younger guys, you know, true point guard, pass first point guard. How do you think some of your experiences from then could be applied now? So um, people forget when you look at this team, like, what are we, 25 and 29? Or 25 and 28? Yep, 25, 29. Yeah, so, uh, and the guys – you know, when I did come in, you know, obviously we weren't supposed to be as good. And we ended up, you know, COVID hit. But if you remember, we ended up uh, making it to the bubble, uh, which was, you know, pretty, pretty amazing in that year because we weren't supposed to be as good. And then I think when the, the bubble hit, I mean, not the bubble, when, when everything hit, we, uh, we actually had like an outside chance of actually getting into the playoffs, which was pretty amazing at that year. But, uh, you know, I learned a lot from the guys when I was here, the young guys, they just start growing and we both start growing together and we got better. So, um, you know, the same thing here applies, you know, we got vets on the team, we got young guys on the team. Um, and then we got some guys in the middle of the row. So um, um, we got a good group and a good group of guys. And uh, as you guys know, when you put a team together, Tommy's done a great job of trying to mesh personalities together. And that, that goes further than anything. So, um, you know, hopefully we all can kind of, click and work well together and see what happens. And I know you obviously know Rui, TB, Brad, KCP told us, you know, obviously you guys crossed paths in Detroit. 
Yeah. Are there any other good relationships that you have with anybody, you know, on the roster or in the coaching staff besides also Wes? Yeah. So, you know, we had, uh, we still got three or four of our guys on the coaching staff, Alex Lando, um, who was here. Um, I'm missing somebody else. I'm going to brain freeze right now. And then, you know, it's, it's still eight guys that was here, you know, Rui, Denny, um, Gaff, um, TB, AG, me and AG been close since we were you know, really young. Um, so um, it's still a good group of guys. And, and you know, Kuz is playing at a high level. Uh, Corey, like he's talented, man. It's, it's so many guys that uh, we, we have here. And um, so just getting to know those guys and, and you know, blend and, and work with those guys with about seven to eight guys I already know so uh you know hopefully we can uh click pretty well playing against KP when he was in New York and I was in Detroit we would play them guys all the time and so um it's a good little you know uh group of guys thanks Ish welcome back again appreciate you